Hey guys, welcome back to Black Clover Mobile. In today's video, we are talking talent farming, which stages to farm. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me this, and this is why I'm making this video as a preliminary video. Now, I am collecting a bunch of data. I've only just started, so my sample size is nowhere near big enough. But my idea is, as I play the game, I'm going to experiment on different stages and collect data. And then once I get to like 100, maybe 500 uh, runs on different difficulties, I can have a more mathematical approach to showing you guys the value. But in general, when you look to farming for talents, I think there's just one mistake you don't want to make. And you're not really going to be ruining your account if you farm different stages. Like it's not the biggest issue. There may be a slight bit of stamina efficiency in it. But the one thing you don't want to do is to be crafting uh, the big ones or the small ones. I'm just going to call it big and small, uh, which is big being the orange ones and small being the green ones, you don't want to craft them either way because crafting up takes a three, uh, three to make three greens to make one uh, orange. And the, the reason being is I'd rather just farm more of a lower stage and then have a big stockpile of the greens because you're going to have more characters to build along the way. And then once your account progresses and then you can farm stage 15, then stage 15 gives you majoritively the orange ones, the big ones, and that's when it will balance out. I definitely don't recommend converting three of the green ones into one of the orange ones. And I don't recommend doing it back the other way. I don't recommend just farming stage 15 and then crafting them down because it might not sound like much because crafting down costs you 3,000 Yule per one. But if you do that across 15 characters, like you're going to burn a ton of Yule that you need for gear upgrading and stuff like that. So I just advise against doing either of those things. Those are the two mistakes I would avoid upgrading and downgrading. Besides that, we can look at stage farming uh, and what to do. Now for a general one to be uh, even results uh, or, or good results, I actually like stage nine. Stage nine feels like a really good stage to farm, especially if you can't yet farm stage 15. Now we'll talk about 15 and then dropping down and doing lower stages in a sec, but stage Stage nine, from my experience, has had pretty, pretty reliable drops of two greens and one orange. Now you can only get two drops in a run. It is possible. It's even possible in 15 to only get two drops in a run. But stage nine, from my testing so far, is like that nice easy one where its ratio seems to be two to one, and that is exactly what you want because when we go to actually upgrading the um, the things, if we just go over to talents you need 10 and 20. So you need that two to one ratio and level nine is really good at it. Now, the one thing we're not including in that when we look at farming level nine, and this is where farming stage 15 is nice, uh, is 15 has the highest chance of giving these, at least from my testing it has. So getting, if, you, if you're trying to get these, 15 is obviously gonna be better. And then we can look to farming some lower stages to get the green ones. Uh, because if we go over here and we look at my sheet again, um, you can see 15 15, we're getting majoritively uh, the big ones over here. Then you can look to farming the lower stages. Now, like I said, my sample size, because I only just started taking the data, my sample size is super low, but you can see I've been experimenting with stage two, stage four. I feel like stage five and six start dropping too many of the um, big ones for me, but you could just farm less of stage 15 and then shift there. So what I really want to get the data on is doing a bunch of runs and see on average how many drops we get on each stage uh, and whether they are all like the same percentage chance to get three versus two. Um, I'm really curious to see that because that is something that would be very valuable to know and that would help with stamina efficiency. But at the moment, uh, you know, I don't have that data so I can't tell you exactly. But I do like for the red ones here on my account, I just farm stage 15, get the, get the amount of orange ones I need. Then I just jump down. And like I said, I've been experimenting between stage two, stage four and stuff like that to go ahead and get my green ones. Now stage two, because it only costs 10 stamina, uh, stage four, because when I tried stage six, I was getting too many uh, orange ones. So I, tr I decided to go down to stage four and two to test that out. Uh, and if two ends up having the same average drops as stage four, then that's probably what I'd do 15 down to two. But like I said, I don't have that data yet. But in general, like I said, nine is a really good stage uh, to farm in general based on the drops that I've seen so far. But when I also mentioned that stage 15 is decent because it gives you these, just keep in mind, you don't really need these too much. I'd say maybe uh, the green one, once you build a red team, especially once Summer Noel comes out, uh, you may want to do the uh, the green one to get these speed ones. 
Um, but, you know, it's plus one speed. It lets you win speed ties. But just keep in mind, if you're a free-to-play player, this is all you can get unless you get really lucky from the limited challenges. Uh, whereas spenders, I'm pretty sure, can buy a, a purple one, which gives three speed. So just keep that in mind in PvP. Uh, if, you, if you're in the higher rankings and you're seeing... Uh, you know, like Finral teams or Valtos teams, you're probably going to lose that even if you have this plus one speed because those players probably have a plus two or plus three speed. That's the way I view it. So I don't try and speed cleave speed cleave teams. I just don't think it's going to be worth it uh, in the long run because on average, I feel like enemies are going to like other players are going to have more speed than me. And that's kind of the way I view it. But like I said, there's not really too much need to farm. And that's the other thing I wouldn't recommend doing is I wouldn't recommend unlocking full circles uh, on characters outside outside of, and I haven't done it on this account yet because I haven't got a level 100 mage, so I haven't bothered progressing. Uh, but if we go over here, where, I, dude, it's it's like, must be way in. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It, it's, it's here somewhere. Dude, I've got so much to go once I get a level 100 character. Flourish four talent slots. Engraved a carved stone into a talent slot one times. Uh, and then bloom. Okay, bloom three talent carved stones. So this is it. It's the final one here where you've got to do three of them. That is the only thing I would do three, four at the moment. Outside of that, like I said, the only reason I would really be doing that, especially for free to play at this stage of the game. Now, later on, it definitely becomes a thing. But at this stage of the game, the only reason I'd be doing that uh, outside of that mission, the Mage's Path mission, would be to get that extra speed on the inside of this one. But I also think a lot of players aren't there yet. Summer Noah will help. Uh, but even with a full green team, even with a full green team, it is really hard to go ahead and farm uh, this... this uh stage nine because like stage nine is like the the good lower end one that I like to farm. And over on my main account, which has... Uh, a 185k team power uh, green team. I can't even manual clear this with my green team, let alone my blue team. So I need a red team built. Uh, and that's when I will start looking at this one. Obviously, Noel is going to help me with that as well. So that's what I'm looking at. Like I said, avoid the, the three big things to avoid is going to gray and converting uh, it's just not worth it. It's either going to be a waste of green ones, which you'll end up needing a bunch of green ones later, or it's going to be a waste of the um, the of uh, you basically downgrading them. And it's also a bit of a waste of stamina because if you're spending, uh, you know, 14 stamina, is it 14 stamina? Yeah, 14 stamina to go ahead and farm these ones to convert them down. Then for each, like you're spending more stamina and spending more Yule, whereas you could just go ahead and farm like one of these lower stages and spend less stamina and not spend any of that yule so that is the way i look at it those are the things i'd avoid but like i said tldr feel free to farm 15 and then drop down and farm lower stages the exact the exact best stage i will try and figure that out over the coming weeks uh but i don't think you're really ruining your account if you're farming 15 and then farming lower stages to get the greens and then for these other ones if you can farm stage nine it's just a really really nice balanced stage to go ahead and farm because it averages out to have that two to one ratio and you do have that chance to go ahead and get two of these now on the green one if we look at this one stage nine isn't going to give you the speed though uh you're only going to be able to get the crit resistance and the hp so if you do want to get those speed ones you will have to farm higher stages but like i said once you're at that stage then you can farm 15 and then go down and farm some low stages but like i said that's all i've got so far i am starting to collect my data but it's not big enough yet for me to have definitive but i feel like in general if you're playing by those rules farm stage nine or farm 15 and then farm a lower stage but i just don't know exactly which lower stage is the highest efficiency to get things done I feel like you're pretty safe like that. Uh, like I said, you could probably farm 15 and then maybe go down and farm like stage six, which is down the the highest in 11, but you just farm less stage 15 because you're going to get more of the orange drops in stage six. Like I said, at the end of the day, it ain't the biggest issue, but that is my take on the talents. Best I got so far. Like I said, I don't have the exact data, which I would love to have the data and I was going to wait for that because I've had so many people asking me about it. That is my current take on it. If my views change and the data changes, I will let you guys know. But as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.